I'm Todd Grisham. The crowd cannot wait to witness this one. There's nothing quite like a fight at the Empire Fight Camp. Alongside me, former world champion Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time now for our tale of the tape. De Deontay Wilder, bronze bomber. One of the hardest punchers in head. The gentleman of. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Fighting out of the blue... A lot of pre-match drama, and they will settle their score under the sun here in this outdoor venue. Todd is one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. just as quickly as the action slows down and heats back up. Perfect counter shot. He got out of the way of that right hook. And a counter left. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. A lot of high hopes and aspirations from the fans and media alike as we get set for this main event under the sun. The top one makes fancy. We are outside. Nobody can turn the temperature down. Nobody can turn the sun down. When that sun's beating on you, when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're getting hit, when you're getting hurt, there's no cool fan that's dropping in there. This is where it's real fighting. Fight run fight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. Why aren't they defending? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. You'd like to see more jabs. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here we go for round two. So keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. A punch out, but thought there might be more action here. And he misses with that jab. And he misses with the left uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. It doesn't always pay to be first. 
It pays to be last. He just misses with that jab. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Nice exchange here from both men. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Look absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? The referee calling for seconds out as we get set. On to the third. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because someone's going to get hurt and someone's going to react. Both men step back for just a moment. He fails to score with that left hook. showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Through the hook, didn't land. Missed him with that uppercut. Neither man really defending themselves. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. about a one-sided three minutes we just saw it i seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't there's gonna on to the fourth we go the old adage is no matter how much speed you've got timing beats speed when you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. You'd like to see more jabs. This is with that jab. He 
you've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work, that's what it all boils down to. Who's gonna have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. He missed with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. is down big time on the scores. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. Yeah. Time for the fifth round. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. He misses with that jab. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Hook missed. That's another scoring shot. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. Courage on display here is incredible. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt. Meg looks so, so easy. Let's start the six. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And he just missed with that left jab. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Tried to score with that hook, but missed. Big shots from both these fighters. 
Got to be careful, though. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How would you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fight, with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. That jab not going to score. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Going to need a knockout. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up though, ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And there's the bell to start round seven. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Nice idea with the jab, but does not land. Didn't land that jab. Can't land the jab there. These two are the perfect dance partners. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. A big whiff with the right hook. That hook won't score. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter, and the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. the bell for round eight. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. see a jab from these two. Nope, that hook won't score. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those punch nails over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. They 
both won a highlight reel knockout. That right hook catching air. Ten seconds to go here in the round. seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. There's the bell to start round nine. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Missing with the left hook. People in the division hit like them. That jab doesn't score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Nice punch. Nice exchange here from both men. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. This is the 10th. He just misses with that big right hand. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This can be so frustrating when you're under such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. He carries away that left hook. That right jab just misses. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out.
It's nothing but air on that left uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Look absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? And there's the bell to start round 11. Both men step back for just a moment. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't kind of think them. You just gotta be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fag and a pickpocket. Not a lot of defense here at all. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. These two are the perfect dance partners. Big right hand just misses. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Neither man really defending themselves. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance without a doubt. And there's the bell for round 12. Like to see more jabs. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that's just the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. And they figure out the combination to this sink. And out of the way of that right hook. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a binder, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. So 
it's a majority decision. One judge saw it a draw. The other two scored it for the same fighter. Shows how much we know. We didn't have it like that. We thought it was a one-sided fight. But you know what? Spot on. I don't mind being wrong right now for an entertainment like that. What a fight.